We're not trying to change basketball. We're not trying to make it less competitive. I'm Joseph June Bond and I coach Hackney Rebels and Queens of Peckham. So Hackney Rebels and Queens of Peckham are two teams that I coach that prioritise and focus on coaching players who are women, non-binary and trans people. So we've been playing for several years now really and started off as a way of really bringing people together. People who had kind of expressed the desire to want to play basketball. One of the things we come up against in what we're trying to do is that these spaces are often like really dominated by cis men and for women, non-binary and trans people, they didn't really know where to go to kind of get that training or even just find that community. Everyone's equal when we walk through the door, everyone's the same. And it's, it's just lovely to really kind of inspire that sense of community in everyone who goes. It was so inclusive, it didn't matter how old you were, where you were from, and that's one thing I like about the team. Basketball is a very gendered sport and it has a real gendered language around it. It's not that we're trying to like necessarily change that, but we're trying to eke out space as well for other, like another, another dynamic, another energy and a different type of community. There's no pressure, you don't feel like if you haven't played that well that someone's going to hate you. I don't think basketball teams usually have this much fun. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> For people who are often not identifying within the gender binary or also exploring new ways of identifying their gender, often use this space as the first way to feel that out. This has, it's an education. I'm better educated, I'm better informed. I'm now beginning to understand the need for that community and the need for it all. The doors are open to everybody. It's really difficult for people to unlearn a lot of the language that they use, particularly in those like game environments where people's adrenaline are going and they're running around. We've really tried to analyse that language and be quite critical of it and be very mindful of the language that we're using. So Joseph, they them, and I am good to go. Sarah, she, her, and I am. Sarah, she, her, I'm good. Alex, they them. We really try and refer to people as like players or people or ballers rather than using these kind of like gendered collective ways of referring to people. It's just a super safe space. It's just been life changing to be part of this basketball experience because I love basketball so much just as a game. I've always played basketball in different forms. My mum and my dad actually were coaching basketball me and my brother grew up on the sidelines. There's kind of these photos of us both in um, Chicago Bulls jerseys that are like down past our knees, sort of by our ankles. It's always been something that has just been in my life. I love the competitive element of the sport, but it was never the thing that was why I was drawn to it. Basketball for me felt like a community tool. Everyone that we've met at Rebels also does like little things together outside of Rebels. I learned that sport and particularly in this in this experience like basketball could be something that like wove a community of people together. It was about meeting up, it was about moving together, it was about communicating together, it was about being in space together. It's such a like a special space for me because it's one of the spaces that I'm really able to focus. Everything really slows down for me. There's something incredibly like meditative about it. Being able to do this over such a long period of time, I've really seen people come to us holding their bodies a certain way or not having confidence in public. They're finding these skills in their body and seeing that progression, mapping that over the last seven, eight years has been incredible. That attentiveness of Joseph, I think, has been a really key factor in the retention in people coming back and staying. It doesn't matter at all what form you're in when you come in. You could be hungover on a Sunday, you could just be wrecked in general, you leave an hour later, elated. We meet up at least once or twice a week, which you're rarely doing with a lot of your closest friends. So there's a real like shared spirit there. And there's a reason that people keep coming back. 